In the previous lecture, we discussed the concepts of magnetic flux and Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, and we defined Faraday's law in terms of magnetic flux. So now let's actually apply these concepts to the following example. Suppose a square loop of copper wire is placed into a magnetic field of 0.5 teslas, which points in a positive direction along the x-axis as shown by the following blue magnetic field lines. Now, suppose the length of each side of our copper wire is given to be 12 centimeters. So because we have a square, that means each one of these lengths is exactly the same. It's equal to 12 centimeters. Now, in part A, we want to calculate the maximum quantity of magnetic flux that passes through the loop of wire. So recall by definition of magnetic flux, magnetic flux is equal to the dot product of our magnetic field vector B and our area vector A, where the area vector A always points perpendicular with respect to the face of our loop of wire. And by definition of that product, the dot product of any two vectors is equal to the product of the magnitude of these two vectors multiplied by cosine of the angle theta, where the angle theta is the angle between these two vectors. Now to calculate the maximum quantity of magnetic flux, we have to choose our angle to be zero. So when the angle between the magnetic field B and our face vector A is zero degrees, our magnetic flux is assumed to be at a maximum once again. Our magnetic flux is maximum when the angle between these two vectors is zero degrees. So the maximum magnetic flux is equal to the product of B and A, where B is 0.5 teslas and A is simply the side length squared. So 0.12 meters squared gives us the area of our copper loop of wire. So, this multiplied by this gives us a magnetic flux of 0.0072 teslas multiplied by meter squared, where this unit is commonly known as the Weber given by WB. Now, let's move on to part B. Now, suppose we rotate our loop of wire so that now the angle between our magnetic field B and our area vector is 60 degrees. So calculate the magnetic flux when the area vector and our magnetic field vector are at a 60 degree angle with respect to one another. So once again, to calculate the magnetic flux, we apply this equation. So B times A times cosine of the angle theta. Now B times A was calculated in part A. It's equal to 0.0072 Weber's. And we multiply that by cosine of the angle 60, which is simply 0.5. So 0.5 of this is equal to 0.0036 Weber's is the magnitude of our magnetic flux when the angle is 60 degrees between our B and our A. Now, let's move on to part C. So what is the magnitude of EMF induced as the loop is rotated so that the angle between A and B is 60 degrees? Let's assume that the initial angle that we begin at is 0 degrees between B and A and assume that rotation takes 0.2 seconds. So once again, we're essentially beginning in part A and we're rotating to part B. In part A, the angle was 0 degrees as shown in the following diagram. And then we take our loop and we rotate it 60 degrees so that the angle between A and B is 60 degrees. So that means there will be a change in magnetic flux. And by definition of Faraday's law, whenever there's a change in magnetic flux, 
an EMF will be induced inside this copper wire and an electric current will be induced and will flow through our copper wire. So to find the quantity of EMF induced, we simply take the change in our magnetic flux and divide that by the time it takes for that change to take place. So we essentially begin at the zero degree measure and we go to our 60 degree measure. So this quantity was calculated in part A and it's equal to 0 0.0072 Weber's. And this quantity is 0.0036 Weber's which was calculated in part B. So we subtract the two and we divide by 0.2 seconds and that gives us a voltage or EMF of 0.018 volts. So this is the quantity of EMF that is induced inside our copper wire. So now if we want to calculate what our electric current is that is induced inside our copper wire, we simply use our resistance of the wire and Ohm's law to calculate our electric current.